I didn't necessarily say this video is going to be healthy. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. You don't even need pretzels or a pancake. You just need a spoon. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a super fun video planned today and I am seriously so excited. So I'm currently at Trader Joe's. I've never been before. So last week on Instagram, I polled you as to what your must-haves are from Trader Joe's and I got so many responses. So today I'm going to be shopping to your list and making a meal for my family tonight using just those items. So come along for the shop with me today. I'm so excited. This is going to be a lot of fun. Please go ahead and hit subscribe, give me the thumbs up, and drop a comment down below where you can. So I'm now just going to go through my phone here and kind of let you know what some of the suggested items were and um, we can just go from there. Someone suggested Spanakopita. Um, not really familiar with what that is. I had to look it up online, but it looks like this delicious, like, I don't even know how to describe it like a pastry with spinach and cheese and different delicious things in it. So I don't know if that's in the fresh section, the frozen section, no idea. So Spanakopita. Pop. Tiny crunchy chocolate chip cookies in the plastic tub. A lot of people suggested sweet potato gnocchi and cauliflower gnocchi, so I will pick that up as well. Um, raviolis from the refrigerated section. A lot of people said their frozen pizzas and their mini pizzas. Let's see. Chicken and vegetable fried rice. Spinach and artichoke dip. Bruschetta dip. Everything but the bagel seasoning came up a lot. Cilantro chicken wontons. There was just a lot of suggestions. And um, Pirate's Booty, their Texas barbecue sauce. Yeah, so I got a lot of different responses. So I kind of went through and flagged what I thought sounded good and what I thought we would enjoy and what the kids would like. Um, but I'm super excited for this. We need a shopping cart. Thank you, Lord. You're nice and warm. Oh my gosh, this is what was recommended. Spanakopita. Sit on your bum. So this is a Greek dish. Okay, not on the list, but definitely getting. This was recommended. Hi, Gav. Oh my gosh, mac and cheese bites. Oh, vegetable fried rice. Try that. Someone recommended this. This is gonna be dangerous. Ooh, dark chocolate covered bananas and strawberries. All right guys, am I, I don't think I'm sticking to this list. Ooh. Beef and broccoli, yup. Sweet potato gnocchi. You like this? Yeah. You wanna eat it? You can put it in. Good helping. Cauliflower knocky. Oh my god, this stuff is really cheap. Why was I thinking this store was expensive? I'm gonna get two of each of the gnocchis. Here, put it in. Good job. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you did good. Here we go on the frozen pizzas. Oh, cauliflower pizza crust. And someone mentioned that, but I've never seen that before. Roasted vegetable. That looks delicious. What kind of pizza does Gavin want? Maybe we'll try margarita. And the vegetable. So, someone should have told me that we should have cleaned out our freezer before we came here. I like that pizza. Oh, you like that one? Yeah. 
Hi, Mommy. Hi, Gavin. Are you having fun shopping with Mommy? These were on the list as well. It looks like pirate booty. Okay. Okay, this was not on the list, but this is definitely something that I would eat. So, yes. Okay. It also appears that if you are gluten free, which my mom is, I was for a long time when I was nursing Gavin, this is a great spot to come. It seems like they have a ton of different alternatives for gluten free. Tortillas made with rice, um, quinoa rice, stuff like that. Just a lot of different things that you probably couldn't find anywhere else. Here we go. Look at these. Can you help me? Great. Um, yes. Cookie butter. This came up several times. Now I don't know what to do with it. Spread on pancakes or waffles. Oh my god, yum. So we've officially got everything on our list and we're gonna head to checkout. What do you think? I got one. It is just about one o'clock and the boys are taking naps right now and I'm going to show you what I got. Now, this is the problem I'm currently having. I'm telling you, when people tell you about Trader Joe's, they should definitely preface that you need to clean out your freezer space in advance because this is crazy. Okay, so my takeaways from today. If you're trying to be healthy, stick to the outer portion of the store. That's pretty much true for any store, but you have all your fruits, your vegetables, um, milk products, stuff like that, all of your trail mixes, nuts and health foods. Those are all on the outer perimeter and all the really good stuff is in the middle. Two, make sure you have freezer space if you're going to be getting meals and things because so many of their like unique dishes and family dinners and all of that are all frozen. So make sure you have freezer space. And three, I say go nuts because it is so cheap. I got all of that stuff for $65. Let me see how many meals. Okay, so I just counted. So I got seven meals plus snacks, apps, condiments, etc., for $65. Seven dinners for my family. That's insane. So this was one of the things that wasn't on your list, but I decided to pick it up just as an easy dinner. Um, let's see, this cooks warm skillet, 12 minutes, 12 minutes to make this dinner. You really can't beat that. The most suggested item was definitely the gnocchi, um, sweet potato and cauliflower, it came up a ton. It says empty pouch into nonstick skillet, add a quarter cup of water, cover and cook on medium heat, about six to eight minutes. Yum, so six to eight minutes, this is done. All right, so this was definitely a recommendation as well, these raviolis, 
six to seven minutes on the stove or three minutes in the microwave. Orange chicken, let's see. 10 minutes in the oven, eight to 10 minutes on a skillet, or two minutes, I think it was three, or two minutes in the microwave. So this fried rice, which I am making tonight, only takes five minutes in a frying pan to make. Guys, this is amazing. If you are a crazy, hectic family, like pretty much everyone is, I'm gonna say it. No one's like, oh, I wish dinner took longer to cook. No one says that. Everyone wants things that are easy to cook, that are full of flavor, that might be healthy for you. Um, go to Trader Joe's. I'm about to open this infamous cookie butter. I honestly don't know what to expect. Don't use your teeth to open things. I tell my, oh, oh darn. You guys. Mm. I'm just gonna go on in with a spoon. Are you kidding? This tastes like a melted sugar cookie. I'm sorry if you cannot have gluten or soy or coconut, this is not for you, but for everybody else in the world, this is decadent. You don't even need pretzels or a pancake. You just need a spoon. One of the things that someone recommended was pirate's booty, and someone else said they're corn puffs. I just assumed they were different things, but this is Trader Joe's version of pirate booty. Um, and Mason saw it when he got home from school, and he is really excited to eat this. So when he wakes up from nap, this is gonna be his snack of choice. And I also got this little tub of cookies for them as well. This was recommended more than once. I didn't necessarily say this video is gonna be healthy, so I'm now gonna try these brownie crisps. Oh no, I think Gavin's waking up. what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. There's real chunks of chocolate in that. All right, this isn't bad. You can have three of these squares for 100 calories. Definitely better for you than a regular brownie. Mm-hmm. So I got this seasoning, highly recommended. This came up like 10 times. Um, what do I put this on? What is your favorite thing to put this on? Comment in the comment section where I should use this. Do you use it to like season meat? All it says is sprinkle on whatever you'd like to make you feel like you're eating a bagel. So another thing that I picked up was this Spanakopita Prior to doing this poll on my Instagram, I never heard of this before. When someone mentioned it, I had to take to Google and I went back and forth with her like, what is that? Um, but this particular one, it's like a phyllo dough wrapped with spinach, ricotta, and feta. And this would be great as an appetizer. Greg and I love doing appetizers for dinner. If the kids want like breakfast for dinner, like eggs or something, or if they're, if the boys are asking for mac and cheese, Greg and I might do something quick and appetizers for dinner are always an awesome thing. We might do some appetizers, something like this with a salad or some bread and oil with a caprese. Like we love doing apps for dinner um, after they're in bed, some wine, so. This is gonna be delicious. All right, so it is a 440. I am preheating the oven now, and for dinner tonight, we're going to have this vegetable fried rice with some rotisserie chicken that we had already in the fridge. And then I'm also going to make these tempura shrimp in the oven with the dipping sauce. So super easy, these take eight to 10 minutes per side. So these ones take the longest, and then the fried rice is five minutes in a frying pan and it's done.
So that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for coming along today. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. If you wanna see more videos like this, give me that thumbs up. Let me know which store I should tackle next. And please hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks guys, and I will catch you in the next one.